There's plenty of research that shows having a debilitating illness or injury affects both your physical and emotional well-being, and the latter is directly linked to the success of treatment and survival. My guest, San Diego comedian Patrick Daguer, uses laughter to cope with 15 years of blindness. Patrick, welcome. Thank you so much. So you went from a job as a delivery driver to a comedian. How yes. did this happen? Um, about 17 years ago, I started to lose a lot of my vision. Uh, because of an eye disease called optic neuritis that left me legally blind, not completely blind, legally blind. Um, unfortunately, optic neuritis is associated with MS, um, which fortunately I don't have, but is also nerve damage. Um, so I started doing stand-up as a form of self-therapy, and I've um, been doing it now for almost 16, 17 years. How did you, you start, you just automatically went to comedy and set out, this is going to be uh, therapy. How did it help you? It, it helped me because it made me focus on making others laugh instead of feeling sorry for myself. And um, it's just been a great, great ride being able to help people while helping myself out at the same time. In your stand-up act, uh, how, do you, how do you cope with it? Do you tell people? Um, I, I bring it up. Um, since I don't have a cane or see an eye dog, sometimes it's hard for people to realize that I do have a loss of vision. So I'll typically bring it up in the middle of a routine after I've set up some credibility with the audience. And I'll talk about the challenges and complications of having limited vision, raising four children, being married, so forth and so on. Which uh, is hard enough, vision or, <laughs> or no vision. Does, is the audience ever offended or afraid to laugh at jokes? Do you make a jokes about your eyesight? I, I do. Um, I, I, that's... That my loss of my loss of sight does not define me, but it's definitely what led me to stand up. So I obviously talk about it on stage, um, but I think that at, especially at a comedy club, um, politically correctness is sort of out the door. So I feel that for the most part, audiences are more than willing to laugh with me and um, go along for the ride. Can you give us an example of one of your jokes? Yeah, one of my jokes is having a loss of vision means I'm afraid to discipline my own children because they're the ones that help me cross the street. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. right. There so, could be a little problem with yeah, that. Yeah, gotta be right? careful. Gotta be um, careful. What has been the toughest thing for you to adjust to uh, in this this long, I guess, uh, loss of your sight over the years? Toughest thing I, I would say is not being able to drive. You know, you, you definitely lose that sense of um, independence where you have to rely on others to drive you around. And I'm not a big fan of the bus. So, mm -hmm. you know, um, but other than that, that's been about the biggest, my, my biggest thing, you know. Um, you know, obviously being a father at times is frustrating that I'm not able to, to see my children play sports or participate in activities as other parents do from a distance. But you adjust, and, and I've come to realize performing all over the world and, and being approached by people. There are so many other people that have it for, so much worse off than me. So. And, and, and is that why you do this? What has the impact been on other people? Do they write you, come to you? Do they uh, focus on this, or maybe not so much? No, I get a lot of people um, telling me that they're in similar situations, whether it's perhaps you know, being completely blind or, or, or fighting cancer. Or any other thing. I, I think the one thing that I try to stress on stage is to turn a negative into a positive. That life is too short and hopefully people see that I've been able to do that and they'll be able to use it and practice it in their own lives. How about your family when you said, yep, guess what, yeah, this is happening to me and I'm going to do comedy about it. How did they respond? I think my wife was happy I was out of the house. <laughs> She's like, good, good, uh, goodbye. But I've always had a strong, strong support team. Uh, my mom was the one that actually came up with the idea about me pursuing stand-up because she had read an article in the Union Tribune about the, the manager uh, of the comedy store at that time had spinal bifida. His name mm -hmm. was Fred Burns mm -hmm. and how he was able to turn a negative into a positive. So she said, why don't you get into stand-up and use it as self-therapy. Wife has always been supportive. My wife's family has always been supportive. So I've had a strong network at home supporting yeah. me. Excellent. Well, where can we catch your show uh, in San Diego? San Diego, I'm, I typically perform at the Madhouse Comedy Club, which is a beautiful comedy club at Horton Plaza. Um, or you could also catch me on an occasion at the Comedy Palace off of Claremont Mesa Boulevard. All right. And you're on the road, though, for the next I'm on weeks. the road. Yes, well, that's a, a good thing, then. All right. Comedian Patrick uh, DeGear, thank you so much for thank talking Thank you so with much. Us. Appreciate it. Thank you.